So are you looking for facts, details? You looking for controversy? Looking for a little Gaps, bit of all those? I mean, a, Gaps. Little, a little bit of a little bit of everything. But I think one of the things that we've seen throughout the election cycle is just how much Hillary Clinton and her campaign play fast and loose with the facts, and it's important to hold them accountable in real time so they can't get away with it, so the voters know the truth. The rapid response used to be uh, four hours, six hours, now it's four or six minutes, and maybe that's too slow. How many hours a day? Uh, 25, right out of a 24-hour <laughs> day. Um, we're uh, They're operating around the clock um, and getting as much information out to as many outlets as possible, you know, at any given moment. Did you have a strategy session, or do you have one every day? For example, today, after the Wasserman Schultz stepped mm -hmm. down, did you say, okay, tonight we're going to? Absolutely, yeah. We are Tonight, our message is about democratic disunity. It's driving um, all the examples of uh, signs in the audience, of booing. My daughters and all our sons and daughters now take for granted that a woman can be president of the United States. Can't say anything bad about Michelle Obama, can you? Her, her approval ratings are too high. Well, it, it seems like we have a, a target-rich environment where we can focus on a, fo a whole lot of other folks. And leave her alone. Of course. Upstairs is rapid response. Is this the ring where Sylvester Stallone worked out? Before? It is. This is the ring. We booked this space about two years out. Had no idea that this is what we'd be looking at this week, but it is definitely ironic. You going to leave her alone? Of course. <laughs> yeah, you know, because they're right above the Sylvester Stallone boxing gym that he used in Rocky V, and there's punching above your weight, and then there's like, I don't know, Ali at his prime against Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. And so that's yeah. kind of like what you would do if you tried to go up against Michelle Obama. Having said that, last night they put out a lot of stuff. For example, zero mentions of ISIS in the speeches. They they really drove that home to their people. They also have these videos of all the times people booed. So they did find things to respond to, without a doubt, particularly that appeal to their base, get right. them riled up. Very but what's cool. interesting, though, and Casey, you were bringing this up while it was going on, that wasn't the Trump team. Hillary Clinton's team had her rapid response team going uh, in, in, in Cleveland, but that was the RNC. This is a pretty visual example of the lack of Trump campaign infrastructure and the fact that they haven't built this up. I mean, you would expect the RNC and Reince Priebus and his team have done uh, on all of that, but they've really had to step in and fill the void. So along with Casey and Chris, we have